What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm super excited to be able to talk to you guys today and to be able to really dive in to something that I wish I had known before I started rock climbing. Here I'm going to talk about the top three mistakes that new rock climbers make and how to avoid them. I want you guys to be able to bypass this little part that I had to go through and to be able to jump right into being, being able to be awesome rock climbers and be able to improve your technique and have lots of fun. So let's get into it. The number one mistake or the first mistake that new rock climbers make is not using their legs. So one of the things that new rock climbers do is when they come out to be with their friends, they start to panic when they start to get higher up on the wall and they'll start to use their arms to try to muscle their way up, try to push their way through it. And the reality is that's just not sustainable and you're going to get tired, you're going to get pumped out, and you're not going to be able to finish the route. Even though it seems kind of counterintuitive at the beginning, you need to be able to try to trust your feet. No matter what you think, no matter if, you, you know, if you're looking down and you see, oh, there's no holds for my feet, just put your foot somewhere and trust it. There is a hold. You just haven't learned how to use your feet yet. Use your feet to be able to push yourself up. Your arms, in reality, are just balance points. Your feet and your legs are really what push your body up the mountain. Any of you who've done sports and any of you who have maybe done something called a bear crawl. Bear crawls where maybe your coach made you go all the way across the field on all fours and it really tires you out. The reason that tires you out is because you're using your arms and you walk on your feet all day. Your feet are meant to move the weight of your body and your arms are not. Use your legs. The second mistake that new rock climbers make is not double checking their partner's knots and carabiners. So I have seen a lot of new climbers make this mistake before where they are going with all another inexperienced partner and they tie in, they do their figure eight, but then they don't check it. And they later find out that the knot wasn't secure, the beaner wasn't locked completely and something potentially very dangerous could have happened. So something very important is taking that safety seriously and double checking every time that your partner has their gear correctly set up and having them check you that your gear is set up so that you guys can be safe. The third mistake that new rock climbers make is not staying close to the wall. Now we just talked about using your legs, but this is just as important as using your legs. Lots of new rock climbers will take their arms and they'll extend them and they'll be way far away. Their hips are not close to the wall and then all their pressure becomes on their arms so that are bent in this L shape and their biceps will start trembling because re that's a really hard position to hold. The best way to be able to get up the mountain is to keep your body weight close to the wall. The closer you are to the wall, the more weight's on your feet, which is kind of what we talked about in principle one, and the more balanced you'll be. So by keeping your hips close to the wall, you'll be able to get up the mountain faster and easier. Another point to add to that is when we have our arms, we never want to have them at a 90 degree angle because that means we're always using them. We want to have them extended and relaxed as balance points. All of our momentum coming from our hips being close to the wall and our legs pushing up to get up. The number four tip, if you're me, is you always have to bring some mate. Mate is something that is really good to take at, or to, to drink after your climb and just relax and enjoy yourself. So to review, these were our top three mistakes that new climbers make and this is how to avoid them. So the three mistakes were not using your legs, not double chucking your partner's knots, and not keeping your hips close to the wall. You guys got this. Get out there and climb. Get out there and have some adventure. I'm excited for you. I'm excited to go climbing myself. Let me know what, if you guys have any other questions or videos you want me to make it about. Yeah, you guys got this. Go get it. Let's go. Till next time.